where the fuck was I? Oh yeah, that's right. There were two Verilies, and I used to drink the double Verilies. Sometimes these arbitrary decisions come back to haunt you. Forty. Nine, verily, verily, I say unto you that when I give a commandment to any of the sons of men to do a work unto my name, and those sons of men go with all their might and with all they have, to perform that work, and cease not their diligence. Hmm. And their enemies come upon them and hinder them from performing that work. Behold, it behoveth me to require that work no more. That's big of God. <laughs> Who could do anything? But he's going to be a bitch about this one. He's going to punk out. Because he it's part of the master plan. It's, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Fifty! I remember that. Oh, that's tasty. Pretty good for in a can. And the iniquity and transgression of my holy laws and commandments. Isn't that law a commandment and a commandment a law? He's being poetic in, again and figurative, I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure I just being a little bit pedantic there. I will visit upon the heads of those who hindered my work. So I'll get back at those people that aren't allowing you to do the things I told you to do, but suddenly you can't do. <coughs> and being God, who could do anything, they have decided to be a punk about it. And not use his magical miracle powers to make it so. Unto the third and fourth generation. He's, he's so pissed off about that and embarrassed and chagrined and rightfully so. Being God. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, he's going to fucking curse a bunch of babies. What the hell? He drowned a whole bunch of them. And whole species of things. And mix up the salt water and fresh water and killed all the fucking sea life. Because that's what would have happened. Sorry. I'm totally getting off track on that. So long as they repent not and hate me, saith the Lord God. Okay. I stand corrected. 51! 
getting there. Therefore, for this cause have I accepted the offerings of those whom I commanded to build up a city and a house unto my name in Jackson County, Missouri, and were hindered by their enemies. Because it's like not like you could have done something about it. Say the Lord your God. Sorry. You know, you tried to do this for me. And I commanded it. But somebody else fucked it up. So, it's okay. <sighs> 52. He's going to get back at those guys. Uh, and I will answer judgment, wrath, and indignation, wailing and anguish and gnashing of teeth upon the heads of uh, upon their heads unto the third and fourth generation. It's not like they're pissed off and uh, impotent to do anything about it. Yeah, they're cursing people that haven't even been born yet. Okay. Makes sense. Somehow. To somebody. But not. So long as they repent not and hate me, saith the Lord your God. 53. And this I make an example unto you for your consolation concerning they need consolation concerning all those who have been commanded to do commanded to do a work and have been hindered and by oppression saith the Lord your God 54. For I am the Lord your God, and I will save those of your brethren who have been pure at heart and have been slain. In the land of Missouri, saith the Lord. He didn't do shit for them, but now that they're dead. It's all cool. It's covered. Afterlife insurance. 55. And again, verily I say unto you, I command you again to build a house to my name, even in this place, that you may prove yourselves on to me, I think he's got that backwards. I'm talking about the big G and his kid, his avatar. That ye may, or that ye are faithful in all things whatsoever I can. Whatever I command you, that I may bless you after you're dead, bitch. And I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, I command you, and I may bless you and crown you. With honor, immortality, and eternal life being two different things because you had to be alive before you were alive to have eternal life. And immortality, that's not quite the same thing. But it ends up the same way, without an end. 
56. And now I say unto you, as pertaining to my boarding house, the change of subject and geographic location, which I have commanded you to build for the boarding of strangers. Let it be built of divine name. He's not insecure at all, is he? And let my name be named upon it. I'm quoting. Really? Sticking to the text here. And let my servant Joseph, who's soon to die, but they're not bringing that up right now, even though they know the fucking future. And his house have placed therein from generation to generation until uh, the changing of the rules again. 57. For this anointing have I put upon his head that his blessing shall also be put upon the head of his posterity. Even, no matter, all of them. There you go. After him. But, yeah, I mean, nothing about nepotism here. They're all going to be awesome. So it's only fair. Totally lost my place. Um, after him, uh, totally lost my place. Therefore, look, my servant Joseph and his seed after him have place in that house. It's super sperm, so it's all right. I mean, the right genetic markers. Uh, seed after him, and he sure spills a lot into well, willing winches. And uh, try not to linger on that thought much. Um, and a seed after him, place in that house from generation to generation, forever and ever. In case in case forever isn't enough, they added ever to make it go on even more. Sixty! And let the name of that house be called Navu House, like he already said. Yeah, I've been paying attention. And let it be del a delightful habitation for men. For man. For man. And a resting place for the weary traveler that he may contemplate the glory of Zion. I should have done that. I lost my place again. Uh, Zion. And 
the glory of this, the cornerstone thereof, which is even more awesome, apparently. 61. That he may receive also the counsel from those whom I have set to be as plants upon her walls. So you could be like a geranium. You could be vegetating like a plant. Or maybe they just, they just planted you there. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Sixty one that ye may be, that ye may receive also the counsel from those whom I have set to be as plants and of renown. I get it now. Okay. And as watchmen upon the walls. Because you're in a cult and they've got to like make sure you toe the line. 62. Somebody has to. And their victims also. I get it. Behold, verily, I say unto you, let my servant George Miller and my servant Lyman White, he already said this, but I guess it bears repeating, and my servant John Snyder, ah, and my servant Peter Hawes, organize themselves and appoint one of them to be a president over their quorum for the purpose of building that house. It sounds really organized. I hope they get their acts together. Because it's their fault already. Hey. It's all fucked up. All right. Fuck, I'm out of wine. Ah, and my cat's in a coma. I didn't do anything. He's weird enough already. Thirty, uh, uh, sixty-three. And they shall form a constitution, and I hope it's good, whereby they may receive stock from the building of that house. It's all about making the bucks, ain't it? It's a profitable taxpayer organization. 64. And they shall not receive less than $50 for a share of for a share of stock in that house. And they shall be permitted to receive $15,000 any one man for a stock in that house. So, fuck, wow. Get in while this getting's good. Doesn't sound at all like a pyramid scheme. Ugh. And that's 1841, right? I think. So it's probably too late for us to get on board. So, never mind. And I'm going to break off here. I'll start at 65 in the next video. Peace the fuck out, because I'm sure a lot of you don't want to watch anymore. But if you do, stay tuned, because it's probably going to be awesome. I don't know. I hope so. <laughs>